Daniel, uh, is this one of the biggest tournaments for you in your chess career now? Uh, yeah, I think so. Uh, so, what do you feel like? This will be a very strong field and uh, have you played these guys in tournaments before? Yeah, obviously. No, but the thing is, that, is, is the main difference is uh, that uh, I will not have some, you know, some weaker opponents here. I mean, it's completely different. Uh, for instance, I've, uh, when I played in Qatar, the Blitz Championship, where I finished third. I mean, I played all all the same guys there, but the difference is that there, sometimes you get a chance to play some weaker opponent, and you get a, a game where you can, I mean, not relax, but some yeah easier game, let's say. And here, all the games are tough. All the players are not just strong, but extremely strong. So yeah, I mean, it's gonna be uh, a bit more challenging, I guess. Yeah. What would be your aim in such a tournament? Well, I mean, no idea. No, I, I would be satisfied with nine interesting games. So the result is not the thing you can predict, actually, especially in rapid and blitz. So I don't know. Uh, Daniel, one thing that I've noticed about you as a player is your amazing opening preparation. It's uh, fantastic. Uh, so, if you had to give some word of advice to people who'd like to prepare well in the openings, what would that be? Well, I mean, I don't know. Well, my approach is that you just need to look for some ideas. So, it's not, uh, it's not about some... Um, very deep um, preparation in terms of you know engines and so on and so on and uh, I actually think that uh, when I had to work uh, with a let's say a computer which was much worse uh, I, I don't think my uh, preparation was worse actually so I mean it's mostly about the time you spent on it and yeah, I don't know. I mean, I'm I'm just trying to find some new idea in a popular position, you have and a uh, approach to your preparation. yeah, normally. So it's not like uh, I mean, most of the people just try to uh, you know check first three uh, three lines of the engine, and then th they decide okay, it's enough. And I normally try to look for some move by myself. And so normally, I mean, I try to create some idea and let's say uh, like eight times out of ten it, it doesn't work, but uh, the rest is fine. And uh, those two are quite, uh, can be quite a good weapon actually. So yeah, nothing special. In many ways, like Tal, uh, for example, your game against Artemiev that you played in World Cup uh, seemed like Tal in many ways. Uh, so you playing the Tal Memorial. Uh, what has been the role of Tal in your chess career? Uh, well, I don't know. I can't say actually that uh, Tal is my favorite player, to be honest. Although probably my style at least uh, last two years is uh, more or less Tal-like. But, well, I don't know, I mean, obviously, he was a great champion and a great, a great per a person himself. And, uh, well, actually, those Kasparov's books I bought uh, with the World Championship, with champions, uh, were my favorite and they still are my favorite. And actually, uh, I'm not sure I'm able to do it now, but like two or three years ago, I was able to show all the games from from any of his books. Really? Yeah, yeah. I mean, just yeah, I could re remember it. I mean, okay. Small test. Yeah, just because you said it. Do you remember this position here? Yeah, obviously. Is this one he he played again against Batwinik and he played knight e4 here, I guess. Which which actually loses. Uh, but uh, yeah, but he managed to win this game. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, the next one uh, is uh, something from uh, Benoni. I don't remember where it was played, but he played Queen takes H3, I guess. Yeah. Uh, the next one I actually don't remember. So I'm pretty sure it doesn't exist in, in Kasparov's books, at least. Uh -huh. 
Okay, but uh, you would get this move because it's uh, somehow the move you made against our team here. <laughs> ah, bishop takes b5, yeah? yeah. Uh -huh, okay. Yeah, this one uh, is his famous g game against Mislov. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Did you also tell the move, uh, so. Uh, I remember the way it was finished, so... Uh, yeah, obviously he played queen takes f7, yeah, okay. So, yeah, it was this Karakhan with d3. Exactly. Yeah, actually, it's... Yeah, yeah exactly, it's... Uh, of one of my favorite games. Yeah, this one is 94, I guess. But I don't actually remember where... Uh, this is uh, Fisher versus... Uh, uh, Tal versus Fisher. Which one? I mean, where it was played? Was played yeah. And where it was played? Mm, I'm not sure. Uh-huh, okay. So, yeah, this one is this famous stuff with... Yeah, take, take and bishop f5. Uh, eat, uh, take on uh, f6, yeah? Yeah. Yes. Um, yeah, th this one is his game against Larson. He played 95 here. <laughs> takes, takes, and actually Larson played a, played a 5, which is bad, but g6 was a much better move, as I remember. Fantastic. This one is his game against Smithlow, and he played queen e2. And eventually won a very, very nice spawn ending. Yes, right. Yeah. This one, I don't know, but probably is queen takes c5. Okay. Yeah. This one, I'm pretty sure I remember, but I, I'm not sure. I mean, it was obviously attacking on e5, but I have a feeling it's not his no, game. Uh, it's Tal's game, but he didn't take on e5 immediately. He played an intermediate move first. Uh. Uh -huh. So I'm pretty sure there was pretty similar game of Spassky, actually, uh -huh. where he took. So, yeah. Yeah, and this one, obviously, yeah, rook takes a 6. Uh, and who's the opponent? Do you, do you remember? No idea, actually. I mean, I normally uh, remember the, the position, but uh, yeah. It was uh, against Carpo, but uh, you clearly have like a fantastic memory. No, I mean it's not about memory, but uh, yeah, I mean uh, those Kasparov's books. I mean, yeah, uh, 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 there was time I could retell it. You know, I was able to uh, to learn by heart. So I mean, yeah. So you've read all the my great predecessors book of. Kasparov. Yeah, and I mean, moreover, I mean every single book of the series. I've Read like maybe I don't know, few few dozens of times. And you recommend it to all the ambitious players, young ambitious. Yeah, I think it's a great school actually. So yeah. So actually, I mean, uh, till I became I don't know seventeen or eighteen, I was not uh, spending t too much time on matches. But I like, uh, and I liked, and I still like uh, reading. And yeah, probably those books were. Uh, one of the small number of things that helped me uh, to yeah to, to to become stronger yeah fantastic it was wonderful uh, talking to you daniel and we wish you a great tournament here thank you very much